What's up guys, Austin Newman here, and today we're gonna to be talking about something that I'm really passionate about, as well as get a lot of questions about here on this channel, and that is the VHS look. Now the VHS look is definitely something that I've covered here on this channel before. However, it was a more modernized approach to doing the VHS look. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you something that I consider to be a little bit more of an authentic VHS feel. And I'm gonna show you how to do that really easily and quickly in this tutorial. But before we dive in, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on for more filmmaking editing tutorials just like this one. All right, so we are now inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got my footage queued up on my timeline that I am ready to add this VHS retro look to. And there's a couple things that I like to do to get this more authentic look. The first thing is to RGB split your footage. But I do wanna mention, if you'd like to download, I have a free preset pack that I usually use. You can download that, it's linked below, it's completely free. However, for those of you who don't wanna download a preset pack, I'm gonna show you how to RGB split right now. So we have our footage here, we're gonna to go to our effect control, under opacity, you'll find the blending mode, which is set to normal. We're gonna bring that to linear dodge add. Now, while it's selected on linear dodge add, we're gonna to go to our effects and we're gonna type in RGB. You'll find color balance RGB. Drag that onto your clip here. And there's a couple of channels. We wanna actually do the separation here. We're gonna make this our red channel. So we'll go down to green and we'll take the value to zero and blue and take it to a value of zero. And now with this clip selected, we're gonna hold down alt, click and drag up to duplicate the layer. I'm going to do one more time. So now our top channel is going to be red. We're going to go to the middle channel and turn this into our green channel. So we're going to take red down to a value of zero and we're going to take green up to a value of 100. Now I do want to mention you may see it default to 39. That's completely fine. Just make sure you're entering 100 and all is good. So we're going to go to the bottom layer and now we're going to take red to zero. I'm going to take blue to 100. And our footage now looks normal again. So this is a successful RGB splitting. So we want to go to our top layer which is our red channel, if you remember. And we're going to take the scale of this to 101. And then I want to move the position to the right just to offset this slightly. And I like to go on HD footage with the value of 970. So just slightly to the right. And you'll see it's kind of blurted a little bit with a nice RGB split. So that's step one. Now, next thing that I want to do to this footage is actually add a more retro color grade to it. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to my project panel. I'm going to right click, new item, adjustment layer. Now these are my settings, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames a second, so that looks good. Now I'm gonna take this adjustment layer and lay it over the footage that I just RGB split. Now why we're doing this is so that we can apply a color grade to this adjustment layer and have it affect all of these clips below it, and rather than having to go individually and apply a color grade. So make sure you're applying your color grade to this, otherwise you're gonna get some funky results if you applied it to each of these. So with our adjustment layer selected, we're going to go under our Lumetri color panel. Now if you don't see your Lumetri color panel, go up to Window, Lumetri Color. So I have mine here, and the thing that I really want to focus on with this is the curves. So just with our regular white curve, which is right here, we'll make sure that's selected, and we're just going to add a couple of points along this plane. So I'll add the point right here at this intersection, right there in the middle, and then at the top right intersection. Now what I want to do with this, uh, in order to give this a more vintage feel, I want to crush the whites and the highlights a little bit more, so I'm simply going to take this point right here and drag it down, and I'm going to take this top right and drag it down so it's kind of straight across. Cross. And you'll notice we've kind of killed our highlights a good bit, which is fine because that's the look we want to go for. Then we're going to go down here to our shadows and lift those slightly, not too much because you don't want to make this a completely flat image. But just to show you what our color grade has done, this is kind of the effect is added to it. It adds just a little bit more of that retro feel. So I could just close it out and just leave it like this to give it a nice VHS look. However, there's a couple other things I want to do. Now, if you wanted to add like a tracking bar going from the top to the bottom, once again, I've covered that in a previous tutorial. It's more of a new media approach to stylized VHS, but you can find that linked up here if you want to check that one out. However, this one I want to be more authentic. In order to get that authentic look, I would probably want to add VHS grain or a tracking texture over this. Now, I've actually released a VHS overlay pack in my store. You can check this out linked below. But if I wanted to add like some of these textures over it, it already has the grain on it and the tracking textures. These aren't scaled up versions. They actually are more authentic 
authentic and they're spread out, so they're HD. Uh, so I could take this medium tracking, which I like to use, and you've probably seen me use it before, drag it over my footage, and with it selected, go up to my effect controls, and I change this to screen for the blending mode. And this gives it that final VHS look. And this is something that I really, really have enjoyed. And even if I didn't want to go through all the color grading and RGB splitting, I could just take the footage untouched and lay it underneath this medium tracking layer with a nice simple screen blending mode on it. And you'll see it still gives it a nice stylized look. So this is something really fun to play with. Make sure to check it out linked below. And that will do it for this tutorial. If you learned something, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.